All right, we've been running behind on putting our progress updates <clears throat> on our fence restoration and updating here. If you've seen any of the prior videos, this basically all, well, that's even thin. It's basically like a jungle. Just full of uh, buckthorn, briars, brush. Overgrow from 45 years. All that goes on fence lines. But we are closing in since the last video. Way down there, about a quarter mile. It's all stripped and brushed. And the barbed wires are out, the old four wire that was there. Kind of a gnarly project. So now, what we're going to do is start lining up. We had this actually surveyed because there's over the years been a few items that need correction with the road right away and things like that. So <clears throat> we're going to take and do that all at the same time here. So with that said, our next project today will be lining up the last section and putting in where we're going to have hopefully what if the deer follow, where they can cross and not jumble our lines up. So, it's been a long road to get here. As you can see by the brush piles. We're going to be chipping these up actually, rather than just putting them on our burn pile that we have a boot hockey tournament in February. We burn it there. There's a lot of cherry within this and uh, being that it's intermixed and the leaves are still green we don't want to put it on that pile because we'd have to fence off the pile because if the cattle eat too many cherry leaves um, they can get quite sick or actually could kill them so we're just going to chip these and get them out of here and be done with it and not have to worry about it we're also going to So we can get this corrected here on this far corner. What we've done now, you'll see the various markers. We're going to hold our line just inside of this really old fence post. And then we will put our corner bracings up and we will run our netting that we're going to put to the outside of the post to get around the corner so we can pull from both directions. If you put it on the inside, like the rest of the fence, you can't pull the perpendicular line the 90 degree heading north. So we're putting some temporary up so we can keep the electric flowing. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there. <clears throat> And I don't know what exactly brush we ran into here, but we definitely ended up with some respiratory stuff. I don't know if it's some funguses or what's going on in here, but it's definitely reacted with us, especially at this end of the line. So you never know what you're going to run into. The remaining corner will be, the remaining line I should say, will be about an eighth of a mile right here. We have that line now marked and this will all get brushed. And hopefully by this fall before freeze up we'll be over to there with the fence in. But it's been a it's been a tough road to hoe on this. So the next video we'll probably post will be once we get these lines in <clears throat> temporary or at least the post. We gotta laser these in now so we can get the post put in, regular T post. And like I say, at two spots we're gonna put some hopefully deer crossings, which will be a little bit different design. We'll show that at a later time on another video. So until then, thank you for watching.